The sit and go trainer and the final table trainer have similar features, so they'll be covered together in this video. A sit and go is generally a single table tournament. In the sit and go trainer, you start at the beginning of the sit and go with each player having an equal number of chips and the blinds being small. Only the top three finishers in a sit and go make the money. The final table trainer is designed to simulate the last stages of a larger multi-table tournament. You are already at the final table, which means there are nine players remaining. The blinds in the antes will be high, and the stack sizes are not always equal, and everyone is already in the money. So let's start with configuring a sit-and-go tournament. First, select a level, which is the buy-in amount for the tournament. In real money sit-and-goes, the higher buy-in tournaments usually have slower structures, allowing for more hands per level. We duplicate that here. So you'll notice that the beginner's sit-and-go has 15 hands per level, whereas the champion's sit-and-go has 30. Next, select the skill level of your opponents. If you select hardest, you won't be allowed to peek at your opponent's cards. Next, select a player mix, which controls how aggressive your opponents are. Finally, you can pick an advisor if you'd like. As mentioned before, you can see that only the top three finishers get paid in a sit-and-go, receiving 50%, 30%, and 20% of the prize money, respectively. Click the Submit button to start when you're ready. Setting up the final table trainer is similar, only remember you'll be starting at the final table of a multi-table tournament. For the low stakes tournament shown here, you can see that 500 players started the tournament and only 9 remain. We're currently at level 10 of the tournament, and the blinds are up to 200-400, with antes too. In addition to the low stakes tournament, you can select higher buy-ins, but the skill level of your opponents is always determined by the skill drop-down, not the stakes. You'll see one drop-down here that you won't see in the sit-and-go trainer. You can select your starting stack size. You probably want to start with an average stack in general, but you can also select a small stack or a big stack to train for those scenarios. Everyone at the table is in the money already. Your goal is just to use your remaining stack in the best possible way to maximize your winnings. The payout chart shown here can help you plan your strategy. Remember, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to get your all-access pass so that you'll have access to all these great features. Best of luck in the tournaments, and get ready to ignite your game!